Hi, my name is Tyler Reich, and I'm an engineer with Sunfy Systems. Today, I'm here today to show you how to install our new LED RTS dimmable light kit. First, let me give you a brief overview of the components included in the kit. Here we have our RTS receiver control. This powers the motor, and on the output side, it will power the LED lights. Over here, we have four LED lights that come in cool white or warm white. For this application, we chose the cool white. Next, we have the two interconnect cables. These go from the control to the LEDs. And finally, we have an optional Senea power cord that will provide power to the LED receiver. First thing we want to do is determine where to mount the RTS receiver. Two things you want to consider is where you have your power outlet, which we have over here, and if you're utilizing a Senea motor, the distance of the cable from the Senea motor itself. For this application, we chose the bottom bar of the awning. As you can see, there's plenty of room for, on both sides of the, the control for the connectors to mount easily, and we have enough length of the cable from the Senea motor to connect to the receiver. The tools needed to mount the receiver is a screw gun and a size 8 self-tapping screw and to be sure that the head of the screw has a washer on it. Once your location has been determined, you are now ready to fasten the receiver to the bottom of the back bar. Ready. Once the receiver is securely mounted to the bottom of the awning bar, we can now hook up the Senea motor. The receiver has a weather cap on the, over the connector. Simply unscrew, take your cable, line up the keyways to the connector, and tighten. Okay. Next we are going to power up our awning by connecting the Senea power cable. First we want to align the keyways on the connector and tighten. Now this is tight, we can go ahead and plug in our cable to the outlet and bring the awning out. Next we're ready to mount the LED lights to the awning arms. First, you have to prep the surface of the awning arms by cleaning them to ensure proper adhesion of the double-sided tape. Another important note is you want to take the male connector side and line it up with the end, or I should say the center of the awning arm joint you want it to be lined up. That will ensure as the awning arm closes that the cables will not get pinched. So we prepped the surface already. Um, we know that the male connector has to go at the center point of this awning arm joint and we are ready to peel off the two sided tape and another important note is make sure that you ensure proper orientation of the LED bar because this might not come off very easily and may not be reusable so we lined up at the center, and then we want to align the bar, light bar, and simply press, apply pressure all along the light bar, and now you're done. Now we can go ahead and hook up the other LED bar. Next we're going to mount the second LED light bar to the first. Connect and tighten the connectors over here. And as I said before, the, the awning arm is already prepped and cleaned to ensure proper adhesion. Remove the cover to the two sided tape and center the LED on the awning arm and press again all along and 
everything is now. Everything is good. Now we're going to connect the LED bars to the RTS receiver. You're given two choices of cables, 5 foot and 15 foot, provided with the kit. The 5 footer is unfortunately a little short. As you can see, we have to go from this point at the end of the light bar, route it along the awning arm to the back bar and to the receiver. Like I said, the 5 foot is too short, so we are going to have to use the 15 footer. And um, I will connect, first connect the cable to the LED bar and note that the awning must be fully extended when you're doing this. We're going to do a mock run of the cable. So as I said, we're going to come along underneath the arm, come all the way to the back bar. Okay. And we're going to go behind to help conceal the cable. Pull it through. Right. And we're going to go with your connector right to the LED output and tighten. So as you can see, we have a little bit of extra cable here, which we can cut and shorten to make a more custom fit. And next we will show you how to re-terminate the connector. The connector, and with your right hand, grab only the end of the connector and loosen it. Okay, now we see we have two wires in here, a red and a black. Um, polarity does matter. So write down which wire goes to which terminal. And to do that, we will reference this flat part of the connector here. So with the flat side pointed down, I will spin the connector. We can see that the red wire is here and the black wire is going here. Okay, remember flat side down, red is on the left, black is on the right. We can go ahead, simply loosen the screws. Okay, now we have to take a pair of strippers and strip the outer jacket, maybe about half an inch. Be careful not to cut the wires. insulation off of the end of the wires here. They are 16 no, they're 20 gauge, right? Strip off a little bit of the insulation, not too much. Approximately three millimeters is ideal. Twist the wire. Okay, now we're gonna go back over here. Slide this over, put the cable through, take your connector, again flat side down, turn it around, red was on the left and black on the right, so flat side down. Turn it around, red on the left. Trim this down a little bit.
take your screwdriver and tighten. One. The black wire. Okay, now we can reassemble the connector by holding the connector at the flat side and spinning the end until it's tight. And again, tighten your strain relief. And now we're ready to go and hook the LED light up. So now we've cut the wire to the proper length. And now we will secure the wire with zip ties to the arm and to the back part. and then the third on the back bar. Go ahead, snip the end of the zip ties. And there we go, one output of the LED bars are now connected. And we will repeat for the other side. We are now finished installing, connecting, and securing the LED lights, the receiver, and the cables. We cleaned everything up so it has a nice clean look, and next step would be to program. Take your RTS device, in this case, Intellis Patio, and select the proper channel that you want the LEDs to be controlled on. Here we will use channel 5. Simply connect to the LEDs by pressing up and down and you should get a flash from the lights. Next step, simply press the programming button and watch the LEDs flash again and now you are paired. To control the LEDs, you can use the up button to turn them on, the down button to turn them off, and they also are dimmable. To dim the LEDs, you press and hold either direction and you will see the brightness increase if you're holding up or the brightness decrease if you press and hold down. You can also set your my position for your favorite lighting level by simply pressing and holding the my button until you get a jog. Okay, now that is confirmed. One additional feature we have also is a three hour time limit and that can be activated or deactivated via pressing and holding all three buttons until you get a confirmation jog. The, the RTS timer is scheduled by default to be disabled. So if you want to enable three hour timer, again, press and hold all three buttons.